Today's video topic is parainfluenza. Parainfluenza, HPIVs, is a group of viruses that cause respiratory illnesses. It is a common cause of colds and other respiratory illnesses in children and adults. These viruses are generally spread from person to person through direct contact with the respiratory secretions of an infected individual or through the air. Parainfluenza is not the same virus as influenza, but it can cause similar symptoms and is often confused with influenza. Types of parainfluenza viruses. There are four types of parainfluenza viruses, commonly known as HPIV1, HPIV2, HPIV3, and HPIV4. All four types can cause respiratory illnesses, but the type of virus and the symptoms can vary. HPIV1 is the most common type of parainfluenza virus, and it is the most likely to cause upper respiratory illnesses such as colds, bronchitis, and pneumonia. It also causes croup, which is a swelling of the respiratory system near the vocal cords. HPIV2 is less common than HPIV1 and is more likely to cause lower respiratory illnesses, such as croup and bronchiolitis. HPIV3 is a highly contagious type, which causes pneumonia and bronchiolitis. This type is often seen in the spring and early summer. HPIV4 is the least common type of parainfluenza virus, and it can cause severe respiratory illness in young children. How is parainfluenza transmitted? Parainfluenza is spread through contact with an infected individual or through the air when an infected individual coughs or sneezes. It can also be spread through contact with contaminated surfaces or objects, such as toys and doorknobs. It is important to note that the virus can be spread even if the infected individual does not appear to be ill. Therefore, it is important to practice good hygiene and cover your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing. Symptoms of Parainfluenza the symptoms of parainfluenza vary depending on the type of virus and the person's age. Common symptoms include a runny nose, fever, cough, sore throat, and headaches. Infants and young children may also experience wheezing or difficulty breathing. Treatments for parainfluenza. There is no specific treatment for parainfluenza, but doctors may prescribe antiviral medications to help treat the symptoms and reduce the risk of complications. In some cases, antibiotics may be necessary to treat any secondary bacterial infections. In addition, it is important to rest and drink plenty of fluids to help fight off the virus. Prevention of parainfluenza. The best way to prevent parainfluenza is to take preventative measures such as washing your hands, covering your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing, and avoiding contact with people who may be infected. In conclusion, Parainfluenza is a common virus that can cause mild to severe illness depending on the type of virus and the person's age. But in most cases, it doesn't cause serious illness. Some cases may even recover without any treatment. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.